Hello my dear students, this is your biology teacher Shivani Dikshit from CPV in online classes. So dear students of class 9th, this video is for animal tissue and in this video we are going to discuss a topic that is connective tissue. In animal tissue, the category of tissue that is connective tissue. We will understand what is connective tissue. How many types of connective tissue? What is the category of the connective tissue? In the types and category, what is the location of these tissues and what are the function of the following tissues? So, first of all, I would like to explain to you here that connective tissue. Connective tissues are most of abundantly found in the body. Means almost all of the body organs are having connective tissues and these connective tissues are actually abundant right these connective tissues are having main function to connect all the body organs together right? various functions various parts various organs they all just bind together right? so in this connective tissue we will understand first its main type there are mainly three types of connective tissues. How many types? Three types of connective tissues. First type of connective tissue that is connective tissue proper. And the second type is connect, uh, connective tissues. Second type is skeleton tissue. And connective tissues third type is vascular tissue. Here we will have to focus over connective tissue proper. Connective tissue proper. First of all, let's understand the connective tissue proper. <coughs> connective tissue proper are also having various functions. They are widely spread in all over the body and performs various roles in the body. Right? They are divided into the following five categories. They have five categories. These categories are as follows. Number one. First one is alveolar tissue, second one is adipose tissue, third one white fibrous or angle, we can say it's another name that is tendon, yellow fibrous or ligaments, it's another name is ligament and the next and the last one is reticular tissue, clear? We will discuss one by one. Let's come to the first that is the alveolar tissue. Alveolar tissue. <coughs> Sorry. It is located, location, presence, where it present in the body. So these tissues are present below the skin. This is our skin, and inside this skin, these alveolar tissues are present. They are actually the part of the alveolar type of cells which help in the uh, covering the space by the air in between the cells means intracellular air space have the type of tissue called areolar tissue what is the main function of this areolar tissue these tissues as i have already told you fills space inside the organs our organ have lots of space between the cells as i have told you that one cell divides into two cells two cells divide into four cells and while in this division the gap between the cells and some cells have to cover this gap by some type of tissue that is called alveolar tissues hope i am clear to you again we are over that adipose tissue what is adipose tissue? Then another name of this adipose tissue is fatty tissue. This is also known as fatty tissue. Adipose tissue actually located in the subcutaneous layer below the skin. Subcutaneous layer. Cutaneous layer is called epidermis and below that epidermis there is a layer that is called subcutaneous layer. So below the skin these adipose tissues are present and 
what are the function of these adipose tissues actually they provide shape to the body as we know that every body covered by a cushion lots of internal body organs have a mass that mass is covered by that tissues called adipose tissues right next we are moving towards the white fibers or tendons their another name is tendons they are actually fibrous in nature fibrous in nature and their location it is present in the covering of bones as we have know that there are various lots of bones in our body this bone is having a cover a layer it is covered by that tissue that is called tendon right tendon function is to perform joining the muscles with the bones these tendons are very much helpful in the joints between the muscles to bone as we know that in the skin our muscles are there below that muscles bones are there how these muscles get attached towards the bones these are just due to the tissue these tissues are known as the tendons right now now we are moving towards the yellow fibrous tissues or they are also known as the ligaments right what is the ligament location of the ligament location it's covering the blood vessels as we know that we will study uh, our third type of category in connective tissue that is called vascular tissue in that tissue we will understand the blood vessels as you have already in the eighth standard studied blood vessels right you are not unknown about that blood vessels we all are very much aware about the blood vessels blood vessels covering is by ligaments our blood vessels have a type of tissue that is known as ligaments and these ligament performs the function it holds bones together right bone to bone together as we know that this is a one bone one bone and this one bone will connect with the another bone right this another bone having a joint and this joint have some type of tissues we can say these tissues are called ligament sometimes we have ligamental injuries right there are two type of injuries that is called fracture and on the second one is ligament tear if this type of pain we got sometimes we have sprain in our ankle and in our uh, wrist then uh, this type of injury is called ligament injury if we will have to fracture means bone will break or uh, crush in the bone that is called a tendon injury right so the function of these ligaments are main function it hold bone to bone together there is a very very much important function between the tendon and ligament you have to learn it that white fibrous connective tissue hold muscle with the bones and yellow fibrous connective tissue holds bone with the bone right and the last tissue is reticular tissue this reticular tissue have location they are present in the lymphoid tissue firstly i would like to clear you here what is lymphoid tissue the type of tissues or the type of cells which are having not any type of uh, vascular tissue uh, colorful that is like blood means the pigment is not uh, present lymph is a type of tissue which is yellow in color straw like is color and sometimes it is also transparent and the type of and the function of these lymph or lymphatic tissues they provide oxygen and nutrition to those part where blood will not reach if we talk about our hair then the hair have hairs have uh, lymphatic tissues sometimes we just get tear our hair the blood will not be there but there will be a liquid spewed yellowish or whitish fluid will be there that is called lymph it is because blood is not present in the hair cells lymph is present in the hair cells right so 
this lymph actually provide oxygen and nourishment to the higher cells sometimes we also have tonsils these are the lymphatic tissues tonsils hair cells and sometimes uh, one part is also there below the heart a spleen is there the main function of this spleen is to store dead rbcs so these reticular tissues are present in the lymphatic tissues these are known as lymphatic tissues also what is the main function of these lymph sorry reticular tissue the the main function of this reticular tissue is it forms blood corpuscles in the bone marrow what is bone marrow here i would like to make you clear that this is a bone and there is a hollow cavity inside that this hollow cavity is known as cavity is known as bone marrow and what is the main function of this bone marrow this bone marrow actually is also called the site of blood production or blood corpuscles here a process hemopoiesis takes place hemopoiesis means the production of the cell uh, blood cells right like rbc wbc and platelets etc means our bone marrow produces blood cells new blood cells and where the dead blood cells get stored that stores in the lymphatic tissue that is called spleen hope is uh, i hope that all of about that connective tissue these main three types connective skeleton and vascular i have not touched the part is skeleton and vascular because these are the separate topics we will discuss the these separate topics skeleton and uh, vascular in our separate video right in this session we have discussed about that five categories of the connective tissue these categories are alveolar adipose white fibrous yellow fibrous and reticular tissue if you like the video then like it subscribe my channel and also share it with your friends for the better understanding watch again and again thank you students thank you and have a nice day.